What's going on guys, Etika from the Etika World Network here. Because Smash Ultimate is out, the Smash site has changed, but I haven't gotten a chance to check that out myself, so I figured I would do a first time reaction on camera. Do you guys remember when Sakurai was doing the whole Daily Dose of Smash thing back in 2014? What made that sort of funny is that it was all hosted on the Miiverse, so it's now done on Twitter, I think, on the Nintendo versus Twitter account. The website's actually been posting updates to all the characters. They recently posted one for Wolf, which once again, thank God, my nuts don't have to get chopped off or anything. If you guys remember the old Smash Brothers website layouts, a lot of them were way more simplistic, but with the big banner art right there in the background and all the pretty icons and colors and characters and pictures all over the place, this is definitely a very appealing website about fighters, how to smash stages, items, and music. Remember that whole subcategory of videos that I went into about that, man? That is that is really old school when I think about it. Man, yo, the classic memories of 2014 Smash hype are always going to be loved on this channel, man. This is already major look at how beautiful this oh shit but going back to the website though look at how beautiful this layout is sakurai's work here has been dog the fucking text in the background scrolling it's not exactly like these effects are super complicated but it looks so good man the artwork right there and bold quality man the, the picture this whole thing in general is like an art piece right here ultimate is trying to break bounds in terms of um presentation I'm not gonna go through every single one of these i'll probably click a couple just to see like what the layout and the format is what the fuck bro why is it so pretty for everything about this website is this is the first time reaction for me okay dog i've been busy i haven't been able to check out stuff on social media i've kind of been out of it man i'm still trying to set up my fucking instagram but this website absolutely destroys all prior smash brothers ones you have to appreciate the craft the artsmanship the motherfucking the, the work the effort the focus the concentration that goes into this kind of shit man every single character is going to have like this pretty backdrop to them sakurai manages to take minimalistic effects and make them look elaborate and fancy as fuck and that's exactly why i aspire for that so much i mean if you look at the visual presentation of my channel it's very minimalistic i create everything myself but i mean it kind of like has a layer of depth to it when you know what it is so now we're on the tutorial page and this is kind of just showing people how to play the game uh most of us aren't going to be here but there's a whoa okay first time seeing this a little mystery section on the bottom left Whatever could be coming soon, maybe it could be something in relation to online gameplay, but there's definitely something part of the tutorial stuff that we haven't seen yet. Very exciting to see little treats like this hidden around the website. I'm looking forward to whatever the fuck it might be. Hopefully it's revealed in like a big way so we can know instead of it just being put there silently. I'm gonna go to the stages now. And as I remember, 103 fucking stages. This is gonna be a very, very long list. And yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. We have a little video, maybe not video, but like a little backup of the actual stage in question. Every single stage has this, I mean, Imagining. all the 3ds ones included that's another thing that i'm really excited about the opportunity to see a lot of these 3ds stages brought up to hd like the level with the fucking flying man that was one of my favorite ones in 3ds and i don't know if i see okay here we go yeah i found it <laughs> god damn dude <laughs> fucking... <laughs> god damn it fuck him up flying man <laughs> The items list, they're basically telling you about all this stuff here. Very clean layout. A lot of the regular items. Let's check out, let's check out the Pokemon because they confirmed a whole bunch of them. They're in a list though, so you kind of got to scroll through. But once again, the presentation on this website is out of this world, man. The assist trophy layout on the site's a little better in my opinion. You see the actual trophies listed here, but there's also some that aren't showing up. You just kind of have to scroll through in a way. Very nice. Oh, they got the little fucking bunny rabbit from the 3DS games where you ever you would buy the shit from him and he'd be like, oh, nigga, you don't got it. I, I would love messing with the options of that shit and now we have a section which a lot of you guys kind of know i have a soft spot for man the music in smash brothers games regarding remixes is always stellar a1 out of this world the composer sakurai employs on this shit is top notch so i always look forward to downloading a bunch of the songs to my playlist after the game comes out one theme that i'll tell you guys is probably one of the best songs in smash ultimate that we don't have access to yet is the actual menu theme i'm not talking about the main theme which is always a bit more slow paced in smash but the actual menu theme or whatever the i guess the the rapid pace theme is of the main theme of ultimate is crazy and we've only heard bits and clips of that shit in little like gameplay sections on the treehouse and stuff That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. 
Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Anyway you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters and we want to make the process interesting so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight player battles are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. I cannot wait until they drop the actual song itself. I haven't even found any recreations of this shit on YouTube. Y'all niggas need to get on this shit. The main ultimate theme and a ton of others. Well, actually, not too many. They usually are a little slower to adding these to the site if it goes like how they did with 3DS and Wii U. And shout outs for putting the little new label too for the new stuff. This is one of the last sections regarding video. So direct stuff and all that is put here. It's pretty straightforward. And finally, the Super Smash blog. It's kind of cool that they saved the best for last in a way. This is the exact place that you can come if you want want to find actual updates to the game every single day because a lot of these things are kind of small on the scale they're not necessarily worthy of a video every single day but i mean some of these are kind of interesting when they talk about the features that we haven't seen yet like for instance the wolf video that they released today or yesterday rather and that goes through a lot of details that we didn't see in the actual trailers and as you scroll down you see a bunch of stuff in the same way um you got even alucard in here if you really need your daily dose of smash brothers man the least i can do is put you on of course a lot of you guys know this but YouTube is always a very general mainstream type of audience in a way. So if any of you guys want the link to this amazing website in the description is where you'll find it. If there's ever anything weird that goes on with the website, which is noteworthy, then I'll definitely be doing some sort of coverage towards that. And of course, if you spot anything with your little lie as well, you got to keep your nigga in the know. Boy, I have a Twitter page and that's it. Instagram coming soon. Your boy's been working on it, man. I got some shit planned for that. But for now, Twitter is where you slap me in the face. All right. Let me know if anything goes down. I'll keep y'all niggas in the know. No, too. Until next time, nigga. Take care.